What is going on Team CNC? It has been a tough year, but we are finally back with another equipment review. I've done some reviews on rackets and rubber, and in collaboration with my sponsor, TableTennisStore.us, we're going to be taking a peek at the new Victus Liam Pitchford Blade. It just dropped not too long ago. Table Tennis Store will be getting it in stock soon. And I got my hands on it, and I'm going to be doing a little compare and contrast video today. But first and foremost, we are in a new training center, so I want to give a quick tour of the new place where we give private lessons, coaching, and we grind to try to improve out here. Let's take a quick peek. So guys, welcome. I do indeed plan on doing a full facility tour, but let's just get a feel for what we're working with first here. So this is, we walk right in the front door here. And we're gonna walk upstairs. We got some display case stuff over here. Okay. And this is what uh this is what I'm dealing with every day when I wake up and give lessons. We got Timo Bull's racket that he autographed for me. Shout out to Timo. And uh we got some different accomplishments. But I do want to give a full facility tour at some point, but I just want you guys all to see the new hall that we are training in every day. So you can see where we're gonna be filming new videos, where we're gonna be practicing. Here we are. Three full court sizes. We're not finished decorating yet, but this is our little seating area where I glue my racket. So, it's a dream come true, really. We got the red carpeting down, and I want to give a shout out to Stephen Chan over at Julie USA, who sent us the flooring and was so helpful with that. Okay, so right off the bat, here's what we're working with. Victus is now Liam Pitchford of England, sponsor. Liam is one of my favorite players. He plays so close to the table, off the bounce. He's so fast, he's got a really flexible wrist. He's pretty creative. And uh, he uses V15 Extra on both sides paired with his racket. This is more of a Z fiber blade and it's really fast. Let's uh, compare it to what, this rubber is really old because I've been using it for a while but I'll change it. This is what I'm using and I've been using since 2018. As you guys know if you've seen my reviews in the past I use a Victus Kokinua carbon racket and oh man I love this racket so much. It has so much feeling. It's more similar to like an ALC Viscaria type blade except with a little bit more vibration and control And I can't I can't seem to switch from this. I don't want to switch anymore. I've decided I'm gonna stay with it so we can first uh, Test this out by doing a little bit of a sound test Okay, so starting with the uh, Pitchford blade right off the bat. Let's hear it You can see it's very pingy It's really crisp it's more of a high pitch noise, right? Yeah, so it's definitely got more of a high pitch, crisp, pingy noise. The Kokinua carbon, again, which I compare, is much closer to like a Viscaria. Timo Bull ALC is a little bit faster, but it's more of that ALC feeling. This is more of that butterfly ZLC carbon feeling. So the Kokinua blade sounds. See, it's more of a deeper, bassier note. To me, that means that the ball is going to sink into the wood more, and it's going to get more dwell time, more hold on the racket. So I think that I have to swing a little bit harder to get power with this. But for counter looping, for control, for pushing, <laughs> the spin production, it's, it's going to stay on the racket longer. So I think, personally, this is going to fly right off, get unbelievable power. This is going to stay on the racket longer and get unbelievable spin production and control. Let's talk about the, uh, the weight and the dimensions of these two rackets. We can take our scale. The Niwa comes out to be with Victus both sides. 186.8 and the pitch 
Again, Victus V15 Extra is what most of the pros are using. On both sides. Pitch, 194.3. Like I said, slightly heavier racket, but a beautiful blade and a really cool handle. Again, much faster, more straight, much higher arc, and definitely slower. Not slow, it's still quick enough. So it depends what you're going for. Do you want a racket to do a lot of the speed production for you, or do you want to put more effort into it yourself and get more control and dwell time? Let's hit a few balls and we'll see how it plays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 